Hi guys, today's lesson is on macromolecules, more specifically carbohydrates. Make sure you jot down notes and we'll take up the questions in class tomorrow. Enjoy! The question you need to ask yourself is why is it that we need to eat food? Hopefully you answered it as uh, we need food for energy. So complex molecules in food need to be broken down into simpler molecules before it can be used by cells as fuel. Carbohydrates are broken down into something called simple sugars. Do you remember what this is? The periodic table of elements. Do you happen to know which four elements are essential for life? Did you guess carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen? If so, you might as well buy a lottery ticket because you've gotten them all correct. Those are the four elements that make up 96% of all living things. This here is just a breakdown of the elements that you can find in life, on Earth, and in the universe. It's just an interesting read if you wanted to pause the video. Macromolecules are big molecules that are made by joining many smaller molecules together. And there are four types of macromolecules. Carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Vitamins and minerals, they're essential for life, but they're not classified as macromolecules. This video in particular is going to focus on carbohydrates. Most macromolecules are made up of polymers and monomers are the building block molecules of polymers. So if you were to combine a bunch of monomers together, you would get a polymer. This next slide is the most important slide in this lesson, so make sure you copy down everything on this slide. Carbohydrates contain carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. It is considered as the body's most important source of energy and is very good as short-term energy storage. So if you need energy very quickly, you would eat something high in carbohydrates to provide your body the energy it needs to perform its activity. Examples could be fruits, vegetables, bread, pasta, and sugars. There are three types of carbohydrates. The first type are the monosaccharides. Those are your simple sugars. Examples would be glucose, fructose, and galactose. Fructose is something that you can find in fruit and galactose is something that you can find in milk. Disaccharides are the second type of carbohydrates. They consist of two monosaccharides that are linked together. An example would be sucrose and that is formed from glucose and a fructose molecule. Sucrose would be something like your simple table sugar. Your third type of carbohydrates are your polysaccharides. These are your long chains of monosaccharides. Example would be starch, something that's found in potatoes, glycogen, cellulose, and chitin. Some people pronounce it chitin, but I pronounce it chitin. What you see in these diagrams are examples of monosaccharides and disaccharides. There you'll see a glucose molecule, a fructose molecule, they're both monosaccharides. Together they combine to form a disaccharide, which is sucrose. Polysaccharides are multiple monomers kind of chained together. So polysaccharides are made up of multiple monosaccharides. Examples of your polysaccharides would be starch, cellulose, and glycogen. These are examples that you would need to know for your test and for your exam. These are some questions that I'll ask you in class tomorrow. Out of these images on the slide, which is the monosaccharide, which is the disaccharide, and which is the polysaccharide? As an extension question where you'll need to make an inference, why do you think cellulose is good for you? You don't remember what cellulose is? Cellulose is something that is found in plant cell walls. Starch and glycogen are examples of polysaccharides. Starch is a plant polysaccharide, whereas glycogen is an animal polysaccharide. These two are carbon and energy in the form of glucose storage molecules. Something interesting is that chitin is actually found in the exoskeleton of insects and crustaceans. Do you remember whether it's a monosaccharide, a disaccharide, or a polysaccharide? We'll answer it in class. For the last set of recap questions, since I love to ask you questions, if you look at the images below, which are the monosaccharides, which are the disaccharides, and which are the polysaccharides? Jot down your answers and we'll check them in class tomorrow.